Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are back again in the last episode. We did some interesting stuff with going to some of the new floors. Uh, we went to a water world floor, which was pretty interesting. Definitely a harder floor than the B floor, so yeah. Anyways, we're on Shard 4 still. Unfortunately, we lost our last run, but we do have quite a few of these to look at. Uh, so let's have a little look, see what we want here. Um, increases your speed and bullets range. Relic hammer. Um, the Sword of Leo and the Prism. Honestly, Prism and Sword of Leo seems like incredible. This is a really risky start, but I'm just going to go for it. Like, look at our HP. But I think if we can have like a, a reasonably good first few floors, we've got a good chance here. And also, now that we've got the Sword of Leo, we've got a little bit extra power than we normally would anyways. Right, look for secret room. Yeah, there's one. Good job we can destroy shots here. And there's armor. That makes our life so much better. So much better. I love the tickets, though, being able to modify your run like this. And obviously, prison's just really good in general, so... We'll also do our hive there. Okay. Got another hive thing up here. Good, good. Didn't check the secret room in this room at all. I completely forgot. That was almost a really dumb hit there. By the way, this statue is kind of where I think there's some secrets. So if we just quickly, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Uh, I, actually, I don't think I can. But we have an image that, um, that I took a screenshot of in gaming on my discord let me just go to it it's in pinned okay so it's a big sort of thing that's got the tomb for the fourth floor on it i think and it's got numbers nine eight three five now i do know a little bit about this i know it's something to do with these I don't know anything other than that though so my first instinct is to shoot them because you can only shoot them after rooms so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we shot that one nine times. I don't know if that's right, by the way, because there's no indication that you've done it correct, at least so far. So I'm a little, I'm a little confused, but we'll try it out. We've got trash bag. Trash bag's kind of fine. It's not amazing. I doubt I'll take anything from this. I'd rather have the cursed chest, to be honest. Ooh, all the Herming is really... I'm going to take Herming, actually. I think if we upgrade Herming, it could be very strong. Especially if we can get some extra range. Okay, so we got another statue there. Oh, I love the fact that Herming has, like, its own unique sprite now. Right, so we got more armor. That's great. And then let's just quickly go back to the Discord, and it's um, eight. Okay, so make sure we don't accidentally hit the prism. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we shot that one eight times. We've also got this here, which I think I should definitely take for an extra shield. I, I really like these new, sh these new shrines. They're really cool. Okay, so we've got another one here, and we've got a challenge room after this as well. I'm really liking our build so far. Okay, so then it was... Three. Make sure I don't hit the prism. One, two, three. I honestly, I have no idea if what I'm doing is correct. I've not, like, searched any of it or anything. I just, I know a little bit because I'm in Alexa's Discord. And it was some, someone was talking about these statues in there. And I think he was talking about it on one of his streams as well that I watched. Ow. At least this wasn't a no damage one. Yeah, nice. Key pickups are doubled and get one key. That's beautiful. And then the last one... Well, let me just check what the last one was, just so I know ahead of time. The last one was five. Okay. So next one we see, we hit five times. Make sure we don't forget that. I'm going to go B floor as well.
Okay, nothing in here. Really should have healed up there. Okay, it's not in here. It must be in the last room. Love the music on this floor still. I think I think we've got a ch our champion in here. By, by the sounds of the music, yeah, we do. Okay, this guy I think can teleport. So let's be careful. He's dead though. Wow, that was a very quick kill. Hey, that's really good. Accuracy on the SMG is fantastic. Okay, carry on going. And then we got. I'll take this. Otherwise, I'm actually this will this will be doubled. So let's take that as well. And there's that, there's our last statue. It was three times for the last one. Okay, so make sure the prism's not in the way. One, two, three. Okay. Like I said, no idea if that's actually what I meant to do. But honestly, that's literally the only thing I can think it means. Considering I know it's got something to do with the statues. I don't see what else it could be. He's standing here for a long time. Normally he moves by now. Managed to get him a little bit with the prism there. I'm just, by the way, spamming my right click here because it doesn't slow down our fire rate, like, at all. And it's going to destroy bullets and possibly hit him as well. But I thought, why the hell not? That was close. I don't know if we need any of the men mementos. So I'm, I'm going to try and flawless if I can. I mean, I want the HP anyways. Dude! Ah, you bastard. We did hit him in the eye while he was above, though, which is hopefully an unlock. A shame to not get that flawless there. I was really hoping for it. We'll crank that as well. Okay, let's see what we want to upgrade here. Okay, so... I was told that it was something to do with this, so... I either hit the statues too many times or in the wrong order. I, I don't know. I don't even know if it's to do with shooting them. I just think it has to be. Like, what? Like it's not like healing on them or like giving them things because you can't interact with them. You can only shoot them. This one you can't shoot, however. I don't know. Maybe I... You, I I, I kind of feel like maybe you have to flawless the boss. Maybe you need to flawless the boss. We'll try it again next episode and try and actually flawless the boss this time. Um, oh, we never checked what Joker card does. Counts as one towards every relic synergy. That's really good. Um, and immunity to contact while in the air. Honestly... I'm going to just get rid of that. I don't think it's that good. There you go. Now, I'll stick with that. we got strong homing now. Now we just need a big range upgrade. Okay, so we're into the hive floor again. Yeah, without range, homing's not going to be super useful, I don't think, but... Do you know what? It's pretty good, actually. Especially with, um, Prism. We also don't have any damage ups so far, which is just surprising. Okay, and that door isn't open yet. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, by the way. Out. Funny boy is trying to get me. Ice door still not opening. We'll figure it out as we go. Ghost tears go through walls. Let's just go with the increased movement speed. 
Movement speed's pretty damn good. So, I, I kind of, I think this is a, a Chaos one again. I kind of want to use it just to see if it always re-rolls an item, but at the same time... I lost... Wait, what? So, I got... Deal slightly more damage to uh, cult-type enemies. I also got... Oh, wait, I got the Cyclops Synergy. Laser Eye plus... Oh, of course I'm one-off, so... We got, we got Laser Eye there, which is plus 20% damage. What did we lose? I don't know what we lost. Either way, I'm happy. We got extra damage. We don't really care that much about accuracy when we got Herming. So, losing accuracy isn't that bad. Nice. First chest of two. I think there is always two chests on this floor as well. But yes, how are people doing today? I'm having a pretty good day. I'm, I'm just basically spending my entire morning. Uh, critical hits have a higher chance um, of the caring and increases luck. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say I've, I'm having a pretty good morning. I'm, I'm just kind of chilled at the minute. And um, I'm going to probably spend most of my mornings getting up, at least for the next week or so, getting up a little early and playing some Revita. I feel like this is a really good game to start my day. A lot of the time I start my day with Isaac, but I don't know. I'm feeling this at the minute. All right, so here's our next chest. I wonder if there's any items that discounts these chests more often. Okay, so this is great. We get a huge damage bonus and only a minor speed down because we've got the coffee mug to counteract most of the speed down. So it's been 30%. It's only 10% now. 10% down from base at least. Which now means our damage is pretty good. Considering we got the SMG, a bonus 20% to damage is really strong. By the way, again, I will just reiterate, you guys might have left some comments that are leaving tips and stuff for me. For one, I'm kind of liking playing this game blind, but also I am, I am pre-recording these, so I'm not going to see all the comments. I'll be able to react to them as the... Uh, like, for the next episode. So just be aware of that. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying... Like, one of the reasons I'm pre-recording is just so I have a backlog of videos, but also because I'm quite enjoying um, exploring this on my own. I'm not really watching anyone else play it. I'm trying to avoid spoilers wherever I can. So I'm kind of enjoying the discovery process. We got challenge room here. Nice. Right. I'm really hoping we can get, like, a pretty huge range upgrade soon. I would love to get, like, the 20% range item. That's a bad hit. Dude, that's a badder hit. I didn't realize I could get into that corner. The these uh, bouncy boys always hit me. We just about survived that. Beautiful. We got a corrupted map. I mean, I don't really care, but it does count towards a synergy, so I feel like we have to take it. Chance to shoot a half damage bullet isn't terrible, but it's not great. Remember, we can also offer an item to this guy to get some stats too. Increase your speed and bullet range. There's some range. And we got a synergy too. Grant you a random food pickup. We got ourselves. Increase your maximum HP by one. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, so this guy with Herming and extra range and stuff should be pretty okay. And actually having the sword is probably pretty good for this guy. I'm just a little upset about the half damage bullets that we're going to be firing from time to time. But the damage here is great. He's into rage mode now. Be prepared for that. It's honestly not that bad. we just got to be kind of a little more cautious about where we're stood. Dude, that was such a bad hit. 
right before the flawless. I'm so bad at flawlessing. I always get like 10% of their health left and then get hit. I just stood below him when I shouldn't have. It's fine though. Uh, let's check about offering. Um... Honestly, let's just offer the map. And we get 10% fire rate. Not bad. Not great, but the map wasn't that good. I wonder if that stat boost scales with your rarity. I did try on stream giving it a legendary. It did seem to give me a pretty substantial boost, but it didn't give me any sort of achievement or anything. Extra range. We'll 100% take that. It's 30% now. Um, okay, that's fine. And what else we got here? Nah, spike boots, are, spike boots are good, but I don't need them. If I just play well, which obviously I don't play well very often, I can actually just be fine. Right, so having all this extra range should mean that our, um, that our homing is significantly more effective. We still don't have great range. I mean, this game does a very good job at making range an actually important stat. In, uh, like, Binding of Isaac, range is just stupid. Okay, there's our secret room. Range is just stupid. Like, it's so pointless. I like the way the music just turns off when you get close to your secret room. That is max HP up. Beautiful. I didn't even know you could get a max HP pick up. Oh, we got to remove a curse here. That's really good. I wonder if we get to pick the curse. This is another one of the new NPCs I unlocked on stream. I only unlocked, like, I think two or three. But yeah, I'll definitely go for this. We trade. I think, I think if I remember from my other save files, is one heart for one curse removal. But I don't remember if you get to pick. I usually reserve my enchantments for the faithful, but you've done a great kindness, little one. And I would um, see that kindness rewarded. I can remove one of your curses. You bear for one HP. Yes. I didn't actually see if there was a choice there. I just clicked space too quickly, but I think there was. Either way, I removed one that I, um, that I kind of wanted gone anyways. Ooh. Rate of fire, but we take health damage first. Um, transfer shot patch to be free. Okay, let's, let's take... This is a bit risky, but let's take the chance to shoot in four directions. Ooh, wow. That's really cool. It's got like a new sound effect and new visual effects. That was never like that before. I like that. But yeah, I'm thinking chance to shoot in four directions. Oh, damn it. With their uh, homing seems pretty good. We just got to make sure we keep our soul meter up. Anything that we could, any items we could get to garner more soul would be very useful. Another secret room here. Although I think that's just our mirror room. Which, at least for now, isn't very useful. I don't actually know what the mirror room does. But... Yeah, it's a mirror room. Yeah, I don't know what the mirror room does. I'm sure it does something. I'm sure many of you have left comments already telling me that I just haven't seen yet. They're good. There's a swiftness thing here. Oh, this is growth. 35 range. Yes. 5% range upgrade. Honestly, half a half 5% range is so good. I'm not going to go water well this time. Beautiful. This with piercing would be so cool. Little bit worried about my lack of HP right now. But let's just not worry. There you go, you two are dead. Honestly, we've got enough range to like hit the ceiling now. I think that's like a good amount. Thank you for that soul. Right. Health is going back up again, but we are going to go through a chest and remove it. Please give us a rare. Nah, no rare. That's okay. I think you can still get rares from these chests. It's just a guaranteed rare from the blue ones. This is a common. Synergy. Upon entering a new area, you might reveal some special rooms on the map. This is a... This Joker card is really good. <laughs> There's so many synergies and we're getting, like, so many of them. Before, I'd, like, barely had any and now we've got, like, three on this one run. Ooh, what the hell's this? This is a new a new room to me. Oh, there's spikes there. Damn it. Okay. 
still got armor kicking, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Shoot multiple bullets at once. Ooh, wait, what? How does? How much does this cost? Oh, it costs an item. I see. It costs two items. Interesting. Hello. I'm the collector. Bring me your relics. And watching awe. And then what else have we got here? Bosses drop a relic when defeated. I'm trying to think, do, what do we have that we can remove? Do we have three items we can get rid of? Uh, let's say... Nah, let's not take that. That is a good one, but I think what I got already is pretty good. With Herming, this shell cluster or whatever it's called should be really good. Honestly, though, I would like a lot more accuracy. Yeah, honestly, the damage, at least to bosses, is not that good. Our range and accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. To be fair, though, we're doing, we're doing good damage. Yeah, that was kind of close, but we, we should be okay to get a flawless here if I don't mess this up. He did the wigglies. Ah, that was close. That was close. I got the flawless though. Yeah, this is a really cool little rubber got going on here. What's what's some of your guys' coolest runs you've had on this game so far? Be interested to know. Yeah, it's like I feel like this is potentially good, but I thought the herming would be a lot more effective than it currently is. I thought the herming would really make a big difference. I might be able to upgrade the cluster though to get more shots out, which might help. We don't really have any items I want to remove, I'll be honest. I'm going hard. I'm going really hard. This might be a terrible idea. I, I would have liked to upgrade Prism as well, actually. But yeah, this might be a terrible idea. But I'm thinking... If it allows us to clear rooms really fast, honestly, we're hitting Prism at basically every angle right now, so... I actually think it was pretty good. Like, it's, it's hard to not hit Prism. <laughs> this is a hilarious build, this. But yeah, we've only got, like, one floor, really, to, to make amends on our current HP. Damn it, I was really hoping for armor. Although damage is pretty important for us right now. But we are an absolute just star of shots here. Finding secret rooms has never been so easy. I realize I lost some souls there in doing that, but they were going to go over anyways. A key. It's good, we get three keys now. Doubtfully anything I could want here. Yeah. Chance to confuse enemies is good, but for our only remaining HP, no thank you. Just barrel stuff enemies. A armor's super important. But yeah, this is one of the cooler runs I've definitely had, especially considering I've got Herming in the mix as well. If I had, like, split shots, then it would really be crazy. But it's already pretty crazy. So let's seal up and honestly, yes. Because it could give us HP or damage. And honestly, the sword hasn't been that good yet. It's gave us damage, nice. And honestly, I think the grenade is really strong. We've not had the grenade on the series yet. The grenade's just good for spamming. It's basically just a thing that applies status effects all the time. Got a chest room here. I will go in here because we've got the keys. And obviously we've got armor now as well. I was about to say, I'll, I'll take it if it's a rare. Otherwise, I'll destroy it. And it is indeed a rare. It's corrupted, which is unfortunate. 
But what curse was that? I didn't read it really. Enemies might have a damaging aura. Okay, damaging aura is fine. It can, it can sometimes fuck you over when they spawn in, but otherwise it's not a problem. But yeah, we can like freeze stuff. Basically, the grenade like changes elements each time you throw it. So you can like freeze enemies, um, or set them on fire, or electrify, as you can see here. I'm trying not to waste soul here. There you go, back up to full again. I'm hoping we can get another tank container or two before the last boss, because as cool as this run is, I don't think it's too conducive to a success on the final boss. This is just a waste of soul at this point. It's difficult to not do that, though. This is why you need, like, more soul containers. I, I don't often find the soul containers that useful, but late game, they're really useful. Beautiful. And a challenge room. Challenge room should be an, a piece of piss here. And give us enough soul. Okay, it does have a, a swinging ball, though. Dude. Press yes. <laughs> it wouldn't let me switch to yes. Damn it. You got hit. It's only an armor hit though, so don't worry. Thank you. And then a bunch of keys. Honestly, I was rather hoping for a relic or just some HP, but that's not terrible. We'll take our care's chest here as well. On a lot of cares at the minute, I don't know what that does. Trap steal more damage is fine. Reduce damage by a lot? No. Power Cell's good, but not this late into a run. Power Cell is just not going to cut it. I, I am glad that the game doesn't straight up give you it when you open a chest. And instead, lets you choose if you want it. Because there is situations like that in which I won't want it. I'm very focused right now. I apologize. There we go. Flawless. Oh, depression's a tough one, but I've got the jumps down a little bit. I'm getting better at him. More damage here is incredible. Mementos, of course, going to help with upgrades and just having HP. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I kind of want to trade some HP away to upgrade Prism, but... Maybe I should have taken Power Cell just to axe it and get a free upgrade. Is there anything else I'd rather axe? Honestly, the sun is pretty pointless. Um, oh, actually, let's... Um, let's go and get rid of that, because we just don't need it anymore. We've got enough keys for the rest of the run. Yeah, let's upgrade Prism once. I won't go for the second. I would love to, but... It'd be nice if it also made Prism a little bigger, but I know there's other items that do that. Right, onto the clock tower. I think as long as we don't absolutely shit the bed on these floors, we should be good for a win here. We found a secret room completely by accident there. It's funny. Mini chest. A double damage. No soul from it, though. Didn't know that could happen. But yeah, with the, with the damage we got right now, we're, we're sitting real pretty. Oh my god, we instant. And here we get ourselves a lovely little new NPC. I love finding these. I don't know how many we've got remaining. Like I said, there might be a bunch of them that are specific to this new DLC. Uh, I, I call it a DLC. It's not even a DLC. It's just an update. Uh, this guy just allows you to change the music. He's he's whatever. He's like You can change the music in the hub world and stuff with that guy. God damn, the grenade charges so fast. It's insane. We might as well check all the walls because, like, there's a good chance I've accidentally hit a lot of them. Caught in the crossfire sort of thing. 
Increased range and damage. I will take that. I know we're quite close to the boss, but I feel like both damage and range are two things that are very important to us right now. And especially for the last boss. Beautiful. Right. Heal up. Try and utilize all the soul whenever we can. Get out of the corner there, boy. I think we'll leave the... Actually, no. Do you know what? We'll go for the chest just to destroy it. Unless it's a rare. I'll take it if it's a rare. Otherwise, I'm destroying it. It's a rare. We'll take it. It's a Mimic. You bastard. Do not hit me a lot, Mimic. I need this, I need this armor. Orbital the blocks. Okay, that's actually decent. Still though, I'm a little annoyed I got hit twice by that guy so close to the boss. Only five floors remaining. Damn it, the turret got me. Well, it, it, the turret's not what hit me, but the turret kind of psyched me out. Really, a double key pickup? I'm on four keys game. Can't open that door with it though, can I? We're at least getting pretty much uh, like a soul every single room, but I still am a little worried about the boss. We can kill it very quickly, but I get hit a lot on the boss. That's a massive damage increase, but we're too close to the boss now. I was really hoping I'd be able to fill up another heart container before the boss, or at least get some more armor, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen now. In fact, I got hit again. There's a secret room here, of course. There's some armor. Beautiful. We needed that so badly. Grab that. Don't know what this room is, but I'll check it out. This is Care's choice. Okay, well, just item choice. It does cost one heart. Yeah, neither of those are worth it for one heart. Right, we do have the grenade, which should make the boss fight go a lot quicker and we can freeze him and stuff, but I'm still not super confident on this. Even with the amount of damage we're dealing right now. And the herming and everything. And also, the, the visual clutter is gonna make, yeah. It's gonna make actually, like, not getting hit by him pretty tough. Okay, he is going down very quickly, though. Damn it, I was hoping I could end him before he got that shot off. But our health is still actually really good. I think we've got this. Despite how bad I am at acceptance here, I'm still really bad at acceptance. Damn it. I always forget that he brings the, um, the saw blades back towards him. I don't know why. Got him halfway down already. Dude, with the saw blades, stop. You use them way too often. You're a dick. I think just tank him now. There you go. Yeah, we got him. He uses the saw blades way too often. God damn. But there you go. A pretty saucy run. I missed him with a fair shot. I didn't even know you could miss. We got up to shard five. And then we get another nerd. What's this one this time? The constant knocking tells me I'm on the right track. They know the power. There's, pa there's power here. Perhaps one I was never meant to possess, but power just the same. 
I've barred the doors to keep the constant interruptions at bay. Still, the barely audible nagging remains, constantly ringing my ears, even when all around me is silent. A lot more law than there was previously, but let's accept our fate and obliterate. Accept your fate, obliterate. It rhymes, and I like that. <laughs> okay, um... So, let's quickly jump through here. I kind of want to try and unlock the rest of the remaining weapons. Okay, there's nothing else here. Surprised. I suppose I didn't do anything super new apart from completing the, sh the shard there. Let's have a little look in here. What we got next in terms of weaponry. Got another new one here, the Orbit Gun. We'll grab that. Oh, interesting. This, this gun is literally like the item. That's an interesting concept for a, for a gun. I'm sure that we'll end up getting uh, absolutely slapped with that. Also, because we've got five left, let's just go and get the hat machine and buy some hats. <laughs> there you go. Only costs 10 per hat. Then we can change up our hat pair run, see what we get. I want to get the frog hat. Frog hat's my favorite. It's the one I had before. Alright, well, we'll spend a little bit here, but not too much. I'll go down to, like, 70 or something. Yeah, that one ain't my style. Give me a head replacer. That is a shovel head. That is a head replacer. And then, lastly, we've got... Oh, that's, that one's cool. That one's definitely my favorite so far. Let's put that one on. Hell yes. <laughs> Oh, the, the moon goes around it too. This is the perfect... This is the perfect thing for the orbit gun. This is so cool. I love this. Right, let's get some items and then we'll get prepared for the next episode. Let's have a look. We've got 76. So let's go with... Propulsion exhaust. And faith. Try that out. This is so cool that we've got the orbit gun with the planet head. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A very fun episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.